welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're talking the pot cake pops of the Turks and Caicos Islands. and Caicos is a British overseas territory of unbelievably beautiful coral islands lying just southeast of the Bahamas. The white sands run forever, as do the aqua blue colours of the crystal ocean, which lazily laps up against its dazzling shores. You would think that you are in heaven, but for some residents, life has been pretty hard for them. Meet the stray dogs of the islands, the pot cakes, aptly named after the blackened burnt food leftovers that was fed to them by locals, which had stuck to the inside of their cooking pots. For these dogs, life has been tough at times, scavenging for scraps, sleeping homeless along the roads and beaches, succumbing to fatal diseases and shunned by some members of the community who would rather see their luxury island free of such eyesores. But all is not lost, as there is a life-saving rescue which has opened its doors to these little cute mutts in order to give them a chance, a warm home, plenty of food and an abundance of cuddles for life. Meet Pot Cake Place. Every day the rescue encourages the island's visitors to drop by and take a puppy out for the day in the hope that they will find their forever home. These little puppies are still very young and fragile, so whoever takes one out must keep them safe and return them back again after a little while, so they don't tire out. The idea being that positive socialisation and experience will help shape their characters and confidence, and also every now and then a tourist and a puppy will bond and full adoption may be on the cards. Hi, what's your name? My name's Reagan. And you're here at Pot Cake Place to take out a dog today. Is it is it for adoption or just to sort of socialise the dog? We're just socialising with the dog to be really fun. Have you have you got a favourite one here that you've taken out before? Well, we've taken out Indy before, and she was such a sweet little cute dog. But no, that's, we've only taken out one. And so you're going to try another dog yeah, today, are you? Dog, yeah. And what sort of stuff will you do with the Pot Cake? We take it out to the beach, and we take it by the ocean, and they get to splash around in the ocean and just kind of sleep there. It's so oh, cute. that's so cute. So you're going to adopt one at some point yeah, do you think? Yeah. yeah when you find the right one yeah, you'll just definitely. say oh this one's the right one and, and where will the dog end up going back to? Wisconsin. But running a rescue like Pot Cake Place is no easy task and the staff which arrive early have their hands full bathing and preparing the little pups for their day out with the holiday makers. Eventually the doors are opened and one by one the puppies leave for their day of adventure in the sand and in the waves.
For founder Jane, it's been a lifelong passion of hers and she has dedicated her life to this venture. Look at your little dogs! <laughs> <laughs> so which one is this one? Yep, this is Chili. Uh, Chili is about nine weeks old, nine, ten weeks old. We've had her for about four weeks. She came in with her sister Pepper. Yeah, and this is this is Esme, That's Esme, isn't it? Esme came in when she was very, very small. No offence, Chili, but we're trying to stop these puppies being born in the first place. Is yeah. our, is our goal? Uh, but once they are born, then we don't turn any away. We uh, we take them all in and find them all amazing homes. How many dogs roughly are on the streets at the moment, then? Well, I mean, there's no real census has been done. Um, a few a few years ago, um, there was sort of a survey that was done, and we. We estimated that there was there was well over sort of three thousand dogs on the streets of Providencialis, multiplying, yeah. um, and um, you know it, through uh, through adopting out we adopt out well over four hundred a year, and um, you can see how many haven't been born from adopting those out, and uh, but uh, we also need education, spay neuter, everything working hand in hand. Yes. So so Jane, the the thing that struck me when I first came here is it's like a shop almost, isn't it? You, it's almost like a, a place that you would go to buy um, dog collars and stuff. So it's, it's very, very different look to your average sort of dog rescue place, which I think is great. And um, the draw here, isn't it, in Turks and Caicos is basically to get the tourists to come here, take out one of your little pot cake puppies, take them down the beach, and um, sometimes that leads to a full adoption, doesn't it? It does, it does, but um, we do, in all honesty, turn down or, or more talk people out of adopting at least 50% of the time, Annika. It's, it's, you know, it's, we don't want these dogs ending up in shelters in the States and Canada. There's already far too many millions. Um, and we wouldn't do this if we didn't care where they ended up. So, so the walks are great. We're obviously in the main tourist area here with the adoption center. And a lot of people will walk by and they, they've never heard of what a pot cake is. Um, you know, the pot cake is a wonderful breed of dog. Um, it's been here for, for a long time. And people have never heard of it before, and so it's it's raising awareness in that regard, and people taking them out. Um, that that happens with that, but it's not like picking up a souvenir. Yes. So we want to make sure that people are aware that when they come in and they take the puppies to the beach, it's it's not an ex excursion. Yes. You know, we are doing it solely for the benefit of the puppy. So what is the original um, breeds that went into pot cake, or are they now just like a mix of everything because people bring in other? thoroughbred dogs and they all end up breeding. They are, they are. I mean, it's um, it's genetically, the, the main breed of these dogs is German Shepherd and Labrador and Terrier, Foxhound Terrier. So some resemble more of the Labrador. You see like the black Labrador. Some have a little more Terrier in them. Yes, like this one. Um, and uh, some have more of the German Shepherd in them. But they are really a breed onto themselves. Pot cake is a real... Yeah, they all look the same, don't they? they but I, I find them really, really cute with their little bent ears and everything. I there love mixed is, breeds. Ears are never symmetrical, yes. which, is a, which is a thing. So, so if I'm coming here to take one out for the day, mm -hmm. can you tell me what your protocol is? What, what do people do? So they're queuing up outside yeah. and I, you know, I saw you earlier out there with forms and stuff mm -hmm. going down the queue, That's sort right. of interviewing people. Correct, yeah. We, we, we want to stress that it's not an excursion. It's absolutely wonderful for getting the pups out and the reason that we're doing it mainly Annika is for socialization and you understand that these pups need to be socialized and so one day I want them out with a group of uh, responsible adults with some children yeah. the next day I want them out with maybe a big guy I'm trying to kind of mix it up yeah. so they get that socialization um, <laughs> and learn to behave okay so when they they go there but they can go to the beaches Absolutely. as long as they're on the leash Absolutely. and then um, depending on the type of dog that you're giving them you'll say oh this one likes to be cuddled or yes. this one is a bit scared of the sea or maybe you can do a little bit more of walking in this area yep. so you, you you generally advise people exactly. and if they come back here and say you know what I've fallen in love with this dog and I'd like to adopt mm -hmm. him or her yep. what would be the next stage in the adoption they fill in an application form and uh, we phone their vet make sure that they're responsible dog owners animal owners um, that their pets have all been spayed and neutered they're up to date on their vaccinations and we talk to them a long time if they're renting a property we make sure that they're allowed a dog on that property um, because obviously we can't sort of follow up so you know you never know 100 percent but i know that uh, myself and my volunteers have gone through every 
means to make sure that these people have really thought about it. So you don't have to adopt a dog from here in order to help. And that's the message that I want to, I want to put across. So finally, I leave with two gorgeous puppies, a little girl and a little boy, in order to see what it's like to socialize one of these cutie patooties. I take both of the little beauties to one of the island's most picturesque beaches and decide that we are going to have a great day playing in the sand and swimming in the sea. Finally exhausted, I return the pair back to the loving care of Pot Cake Place. Since we filmed this episode, both Esme and Marlon have found their forever homes. Esme now happily lives in Montreal and Marlon in Michigan. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Animal Watch on the pot cake puppies of the Turks and Caicos Island. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to give us a big like and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom hand corner right now. And be sure to tune in every single week for more exciting videos on dogs, wolves, wildlife, animal rescue and conservation. Bye for now. If you are interested in finding out more about the amazing work Pot Cake Place does and would be interested in dropping by to socialise or possibly adopt one of their dogs, then please visit www.potcakeplace.com.